protenuator here. I want to go through the routing that I have before I tear all this apart and rewire it to be how I want it to be to run compression through each channel should I want to use that. The only reason I'd really want to use it is for drums and maybe the bass. And right now I have it set up to where all of it gets summed in the sub bus, resampled, and put through the compressor for a total final track compression, which I could do in post-production, or I can post-produce right here by sending it through recording in the task cam, and then I have a real track to put out. just have to maximize it and clean up any uh, errors that I see in the ins and outs, the, the start and finish. So let's get into the track here. I've got in channel one, the drums, two, bass line, three, tube synth, four and five are for the circuit tracks, which I have over here, and I have routing to go in and out of the mixer. We'll get into that another day. Six, seven, and eight are all vocals that I'm chopping up, recording, and I'll do slices and move it into another side or not. I had these full. I deleted a bunch of crap, re uh, released all those samples. Let's get back to the routing here that we have. So, um... I've got the setup kind of like stems to where I've got one, two, three, and four, as I'd said, drums, bass, synth, and vocals. And that goes over to the model 16 as channels. That's the sub bus. So five, six, seven, and eight. Back into here, we could see in mixer, all we have to do is use this incredible knob right here to select for audio out five, six, and seven for drums, bass, and synth. And then the vocals, well, that one's on seven, but vocals on output eight. So to change it, it's just a twist of the knob and you can see it goes into dual outs. If this was a sound card and doing stereo, then uh, it applies to two channels. If you're in mono, it immediately puts it in as a stereo track for both left and right. So if you're doing a recording, you need to have an audio of input, just one single channel. So when I record through channel two for my vocals here, um, I need that just individual input. When I resampled, I used input three and four here because that's my sub bus. And so I could kill everything else, reroute my audio back out, run it through the sub bus with compression if I wanted, bust the volume higher, and then I've got a, a waveform that I like where I could play a bunch of different samples to splay out a longer cut of slices of it and then record that as an eight bar chunk, let's say, via that three, four bus right there, um, my sub out. So we'll uh, trigger something up here. You can trigger individually so I can kick in some drums. And this is just crap. Let's see if we can get some uh, audio here, bring that sub bus up. So this is my 2022 track and I just hammered in um, step sequencer. Um, let's go for the Foley. And here we'll trigger to lanes. And you can see I drew 2022. This was just a stupid idea. And I made a drum track that sounded like some techno banger and so I let it be. So this is what 2022 sounds like. You'll see it in a second here. Uh, and then I laid a bass down. You can you can lay out how your quantization happens and how your triggering happens with real quick shift buttons and the and the buttons down at the bottom. Get into those things later. And then vocals. So back to launch. You can launch it from either. What and I haven't sounds like. I haven't timed it right. I haven't chopped up. I was messing with today, so we can stop that one. This is what. Um, so you can see I have control over here. With my faders, that's an incredible thing to control audio tracks from the force. So as I'm mixing, I can dial back and push. Make the bass heavy, bring the vocals in if I wanted, bit by bit. And I don't even have a synth line written for this yet because it's just a fresh layout. So let's talk uh, in other videos about the rerouting I'm about to do. I'm gonna try to repatch this all to send uh, one, two, three, and four 
back out with quarter inch cables. I will not have um, the sub bus rerouting for the compression there because I will have compression of each individual channel since it comes in above on the mixer. So I'll show you over here. I've got the sub bus coming out and back in for resampling and it balanced out left and right. And I can throw a little compression in there. Bring my control room down so it doesn't, you can see the signal's hot. But you can see the compression's happening here. So, back down a little. What I'll have in just a minute here are one, two, three, and four from the force routed through five, six, seven, eight inputs, and then it will trigger above the gain stage. Right now, all this audio comes in here right at the EQ stage and it leaves before the balance stage. So if I was to record this whole thing back out from three and four, I would get two stereo channels because it's not taking this balance into effect here. And I'd be recording, uh, uh, well that didn't make sense, but anyway, it, it doesn't record that the balance is being sent one way or another. So in here, yes, it would, it would take each of three and make it a stereo and four and make it a stereo, but I wouldn't have a left and right channel. If I recorded in the Tascam, it records that this is only, and it kills all the way, that this is the left channel and this is the right channel, and three and four I can dedicate as what is being recorded as the track and do my, um, my mix down to get something whole in here, compressed, and then take it to the maximization in another program for a final output and everything is almost done right here just the final little push if i wanted to if it didn't appear incredibly clean right here uh, then i can just do that in one step so check out the next video as i do this replug it's a pain in my ass and i'm gonna have some uh some auxiliary sending back through for the ones and twos on the back side of the akai to get uh, sounds and samples back into it so it's not as wholesome and yummy and good because I can't just like dial in and tell it what I want. I have to figure out my volumes and sends to get it back in. It's just another step and it's a different workflow, but it's not quite the same as just dialing that channel here in the mixer IO section. So uh, let's talk more as we work through this IO problem or solution or opportunity. Thanks for watching. Do a like and subscribe. I try to keep these as brief as possible. Love you guys. Pretenuator out.